Well, we came to the beach today because I was absolutely tired of being cooped up in my house. I, I needed this. My, my anxiety, my postpartum anxiety was getting really bad the last two days. And this morning I woke up and on top of the anxiety, I was feeling a little bit depressed. And when, when I catch myself feeling that way, I do something to snap out of it quick because that's not a happy feeling and that's not one I like to, to sit in. So this morning when I realized I was feeling even worse than yesterday, no, wasn't happening. So I'm like, what can I do to feel better? The beach and it worked. Successful trip, had a great time. I'm feeling a million times better. Little mama enjoyed herself a whole bunch. So overall, a pretty successful day. Today has been one stressful day. My daughter woke up really early today and she was like crying and very cranky and she'd hold her stomach in pain every time she was trying to go to the bathroom. And I thought it was because the day before she didn't use the bathroom. I was like, maybe she just can't, but she struggled going to the bathroom all day. And of course it's the weekend. So I was having a, her pediatrician's clothes. So I had to find, uh, an emergency pediatrician so I came to a place called Nightlight Pediatrics and they needed to see if she had like a UTI and everything so of course she didn't want to use the bathroom on command she's scared so scared of the doctors so I had to go home and it started almost a two-hour process of trying to get her to pee but we finally did I got to the pediatrician back thank goodness they closed at late as a 10 and I just came out of their office at 9 p.m. Um, so they went in, they tested, she doesn't have a UTI, thank goodness. So, um, now I need to start another ordeal of trying to get her to use the bathroom because it's showing that she's in pain. This so far has been the biggest bump in the road I've had with her. And it's been all day from, it is, it was like 6.30 AM is now 9 PM. And we're still going at it, trying to help her use the bathroom and feel better. She's in pain. She hasn't want to eat today. She doesn't want to drink anything. It's she's very clingy so she just she just needs mama so i need to go try to find her some medicine that can help her use the bathroom where daddy is at home right now taking her a nice warm bath trying to ease her stomach and then i'm hoping i'm hoping by the night she's she can sleep throughout the night and, and feel a little bit better but we did go to the beach yesterday and I think the sand irritated her, unfortunately. So I, I try to have a, a day of fun and it turned into the next day she's been a day in pain. So talk about mom guilt. It's, I, I just, I feel so bad. I don't regret yesterday though. I don't, I couldn't have predicted today. I would have never known. I would have never known. So yeah, so now I have to run to the store, get her some medicine. Um, see what we can do and hopefully she takes it she's so picky with that too and hopefully it's a good night i am on my way back to the pharmacy for my daughter i tried miralax yesterday and it did not work she is still having a hard time using the bathroom she went and cried her heart out it's very painful she's been cranky all day all day so i need to find some other stuff i've kind of been dropping comics in my facebook group trying to ask for advice on other moms who've gone through this with their little ones some of you guys some of you moms well a lot of you moms gave me some great advice on some products um ones that stood out to me i did i was confirmed with my pediatrician the one she gave me the green light on now i'm gonna go try some so i'm gonna go to the pharmacy pick these up give them to my daughter and hopefully they work because Okay, so now we are on day three of this journey. My daughter is constipated and it's been one heck of a journey trying to figure out what works for her. So I went to CVS yesterday. That was trip number two. I got some more products and we did find some stuff that works. So I wanna show you everything that we used 
on my daughter. My daughter is two years old, so it did make it a little bit easier to find products for her. The first thing I got was, I got the generic version of the Miralax. It's called Purelax. It's this one. And this one was so awesome because my daughter doesn't like juice. So a lot of people were recommending grape juice, prune juice, apple juice, a lot of juices, which would have worked great if my daughter used them. So we found the powder. So the powder packs are like this and they are tasteless, which worked perfect. I was able to put it in her milk and she drank it with no issues. My pediatrician recommended half the pouch. So we did half the pouch the first night. We noticed it didn't give her any relief. The next morning we gave her the second half and it still didn't give her any relief. So although this was a great idea for what she was going through, it wasn't working for her. For my lifestyle, this worked great. So I'm definitely gonna give it a try again in the future if this happens to her. So that was that one. And this one is more of a stool softener. This one wasn't so that to make her go, it was so that it will soften it and it didn't hurt her because that's the issue I'm having. Every time she has to go, she's holding it because of pain and then she's she's holding going. So then she doesn't want to go and that's a whole other issue. Since I noticed that wasn't working, I went back to my Facebook group, put in some comments saying I need some more help and a lot of moms drop comments about the Pedialax. So I purchased two different ones. So I tried these. And with these, this one were the tablets, chewable tablets. This one was a watermelon flavor. And the tablets look like this. I wanna say they're about the size of a dime. So they had those. I haven't tried that one yet. I did the liquid form, but this one's also, I had a lot of moms showing me that there is also a rectal one that you can use on your little one and that one works very quickly. I did not see that at the pharmacy I went to. These were the only two that I saw, so I grabbed this one. But then we have the liquid form of it and this one is a berry flavor. So this one recommends ages two to 11. Sorry, she wants to join now. <laughs> but about 10 minutes after we gave her this, she used the bathroom once. She did, still did complain about it hurting her. But then I wanna say about three hours later, then she really went. <laughs> and, it was, and it was a bit intense. So it did do what it, it asked. The recommended dosage, I think it said at 15 mLs. Yeah, 15 mLs it says to start. I actually gave her less than that. I gave her about 10 and it worked perfectly. Because it was the first time I gave her laxatives, I didn't know how her body was gonna take and I didn't wanna give her too much. This so far is what worked. This is a child's laxative. I do recommend finding children's laxatives. Although you can find adult ones all over the store, I just did not feel safe doing that. They're too, in my opinion, they would be too strong, even if I cut them in half, even if just, no. The last one I used, well, I didn't get to use was Mommy Bliss. This one was a probiotic that you can do daily. So after I got it, got it home, then I realized I looked at the box and it is for four years. So this one still, she's only two years old, it's too advanced for her. So this one isn't gonna work for her. So although I said my daughter doesn't like prune juice, um, I did stop, my, my mother-in-law stopped at Aldi's and we found some of the pureed food there. This one was apple, banana, and blueberry and this was prune, apple, butternut squash with quinoa. I never pronounced that right. But I ended up purchasing these two so, so even though she doesn't like prune juice, I found her foods with prunes in them. And she doesn't like to eat prunes on its own as well. So this is my concoction of everything I use to help my daughter with her constipation. I'm gonna put some links below, so check them out. But that's that. So, I need some relaxing time. So I'm actually in the process of painting my house. <laughs> I am totally loving the whole white and gray kind of style that's that's in. I love it, I love it, I love it. But however, my house is an old house. It was built in the 60s, so I'm very limited on lighting and spacing. So I'm in the process of painting my walls like a very whitish gray. So I want to go to Home Depot to get some gallons of paint. I'm This is painting on a budget, so I am going wall by wall. 
and as more money comes in we paint another wall so I'm not in a rush just kind of want to revamp the house a little bit but we are starting I already started with this wall let me show you so I started with this wall this is kind of the color I'm aiming towards and then this is the rest of my house it's kind of like this weird brownish color finally feeling better she is good now we kind of just blended as much as we could fed her as much liquid as we could and we're safe to say she is pooping like no one's business and back to me holding my breath when I change her diaper so I think we are a success <laughs> um, but if any parents have any recommendations on other products I can use in the event this happens again hopefully it doesn't but if it does Please let me know, drop some comments below. I'd love to have a head start on this. But thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Show some love, subscribe, and see you again next week. Ooh. And if no one's told you, don't forget to tell yourself every morning you're an amazing parent and you're doing a great job.